Have you ever wondered about the ancestor of all modern cattle? What if I told you there was once a wild, mighty beast roaming Europe that gave rise to the livestock we see today? Meet the aurochs, the massive and untamed ancestor that shaped human history and agriculture. The aurochs were no ordinary ancestors. Towering over today's cattle at almost six feet at the shoulder, they were the kings of the ancient European forests. Their influence was so profound that without them, we wouldn't have the dairy and beef industry as we know it today. But how did these mighty creatures become the cattle grazing in our fields? Could we have learned something crucial from their story? Let's dive into how the aurochs, a symbol of strength and wild beauty, became domesticated, and why understanding their history is key to the evolution of modern livestock. The aurochs were more than just big cows. They were fierce, wild creatures, standing up to six feet tall and sometimes weighing over a ton. These animals had massive curved horns and thick, dark coats. They roamed freely in Europe, North Africa and Asia, living in forests, grasslands and marshes. Can you imagine coming face to face with such a powerful animal? It's believed that the domestication of the aurochs started around 10,000 years ago in the Middle East, where early humans began taming these giants. But the relationship wasn't simple. Taming aurochs meant grappling with their sheer strength and wild instincts. Would you have dared to be one of the first to try? Despite their majesty, the aurochs faced threats that even their size couldn't fend off. By the 17th century, these creatures had vanished forever. Overhunting, coupled with habitat destruction due to agriculture and human expansion, sealed their fate. The last known aurochs died in Poland in 1627. But how did the extinction of such a powerful animal influence the cattle we know today? Humans had already started to selectively breed cattle, aiming for traits that made them more manageable and productive. This very domestication process was accelerated by the loss of the wild aurochs. Their extinction wasn't just the end of a species, it was a pivotal moment that forever changed our approach to livestock breeding. Although the aurochs are gone, their legacy lives on in our modern cattle. Their genes shaped the breeds we see today, from dairy cows to massive bulls. Scientists have even studied ancient aurochs DNA to understand how traits like horn size and body mass have been passed down. Could there be a way to bring them back or at least recreate their essence? In a fascinating twist, some geneticists are working on back breeding programs to create cattle that resemble aurochs. While these efforts spark controversy, they highlight the deep connection we share with this lost ancestor. The story of the aurochs teaches us about resilience, adaptation, and the consequences of our impact on nature. Today, modern cattle breeds still carry the genetic legacy of the aurochs, impacting their behavior, anatomy, and even their roles in agriculture. The aurochs may no longer roam the forests of Europe, but their story is far from forgotten. They remind us of a time when humans and animals shaped each other's destinies. By studying them, we gain insight into how our ancestors transformed nature to build civilizations. And as we look to the future, the aurochs tale serves as both a warning and an inspiration. What kind of impact do we want to leave behind for future generations? What do you think about the story of the aurochs? Do you believe backbreeding is a good idea, or should we let nature be? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to share this video with friends who love history and nature.